Hello and welcome back to W Series Off Track. It's been too long since we last went racing, so let's not waste any time. Here's what's coming up. Racing is tough, but you're tougher. Coming out with a complete seat. It's about to be a girl fight. So to kick it all off, in case you forgot, here's all the action from race six in Zandvoort. Welcome to Zandvoort, set on the sands of the North Sea. Lights out for W Series at Zandvoort. Bell and Garcia proving you can overtake at Zandvoort. Alice Powell's looking up the inside here. Another unconventional overtaking position. Okay, well, you are faster than Emma. So let's catch her. Well, Alice Powell very nearly there now. That's opened the door. Oh, chancing one into turn three. This has been her favorite part of the racetrack. It's not her favorite part anymore. The lockups open the door and through goes Abby Pulling. Alice Powell wins at Zandvoort for her third W Series win of the year. No one today had the pace of the new championship leader, Alice Powell. It couldn't possibly be tighter at the top. Alice and Jamie are even on points going into the final two rounds. I chatted to Alice after the race to find out if she's starting to feel the pressure. Well done, Alice. It's great to see you on the top step again. How great are you feeling? Yeah, it was a, a great win, to be honest, Naomi. You know, it's sort of getting down to the, the crunch time of the, the season now. So we've only got two races left. She's going to chance it. It's a change to the lead. Alice Powell gets through, and that would be enough to give her the championship lead. You're coming away from this weekend on even points with Jamie in the championship. Are you starting to feel the pressure? No, there's no pressure. We're, you know, I've been in title fights before. I think you just have to literally try and rack up as many points as possible. Game on between the top two in the title battle. What a season we are having. Another driver who I wanted to talk to you about is Abby Pulling. Only her second race in W Series and she's already scored points twice. The lockups open the door and through goes Abby Pulling to take seventh position on the final lap. Yeah, no, she's uh, had a really, really tough season of British F4, that by far the unluckiest driver I feel on, on the grid. She really needed a good result this weekend, qualifying P5 and, and obviously having a great battle in the race, but certain talent for the future as well, uh, not just moving up the ladder, but in W Series as well. We've got a long break now until the next race, so how are you planning on keeping up this momentum? Yeah, I've been talking seven weeks. I didn't realize it was that long. So I think, you know, just maybe take a little bit of time out. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing that. It's quite busy calendar, but, you know, just keeping the feet on the ground because it's going to be, uh, you know, a busy weekend uh, there in, in Austin. So that's how Alice Paul's race went. And now in just one word, let's hear about the other drivers' races. Almost. Tough. Orange. Tough. Potential. Tough. Frustrating. Fight. Orange. Fighting. Progress. Stupid. Progress. Character building. Hard. Frustrating. Difficult. Survived. Welcome back to another W Series off track lid battle. And who's about to win this? I mean, I feel like it's kind of obvious at this point. <laughs> I'm liking the confidence saver. I'm loving it. Tell us about it. Of course, we've got the Colorado Mountains in there. It's got my binary code, which uh, translates into 317, which was my carding number. Got the American flag as well, which turned out really, really beautiful, I think, with the chrome work. Then we've also got, I think what's a cool feature is the female symbol on the front. So I have the Norwegian flag and the Swedish flag, because if not, my parents would be very upset. I mean, basically, she should have an American flag, though, too. I have my signature star A, on the sides here. But my favorite about the whole helmet is I have a little beaver and the polar bear. Because my dog, Ella, she goes by the nickname Beaver. And then my boyfriend is the polar bear because he's the bear in the family. What would you change about each other's helmet? And I'll start with you, Ilo. The flag. You have to have the, the, the nice flags, the Norwegian and Swedish flag. She can't have a Norwegian and Swedish of flag. she can. It's, it's, <laughs> the colors are the same. No one would notice. I would actually make your cute little symbols on the back maybe a little more prominent because I didn't even know they were there. It's, it's a little private. Final convincing fact about why your helmet should win. Is it's more personal. It's more sentimental. Is it more sentimental? I mean, I've got like my personal binary, the female. You, you oh, have it a little more hidden, I though. Have a, yeah, yeah, yours is in code. Mine's hidden, yours is in code. Oh, 
it's about to be a girl fight. <laughs> I would say there's definitely some really nice touches I like about both of your helmets. But for me, the winner today is Sabra. Ooh. Given that we're here because of W Series, I think it's the female symbol that really did it for me. I, I can respect that, Naomi. <laughs> well, of course, that's just my opinion. So let us know in the comments below whose helmet you thought should win. But in the meantime, let's find out why my paddock bestie is a racer. Fabian Wolven and I'm a racing driver. Here we go, it's into the lead for Fabian Wolven. I started racing when I was seven years old. My big brother, Raphael, got a go-kart. We went to a little karting track in Switzerland. I was just there looking and then they kind of forced me to try it. At a couple of laps, fell completely in love with it. From there on, it was always my goal to become a professional racing driver. I would say my dad was my biggest influence on my career. We were always on track together. He was my mechanic in karting. So yeah, we were always the father-daughter team. My personality on and off track. Off track, I'm very happy, um, communicative, very bubbly. Uh, on track, of course, super competitive, aggressive driving and super fast. How brave. Is Volven feeling? There is the answer down the inside when it mattered. My advice to young girls thinking about getting into racing is never give up, keep pushing. Racing is tough, but you're tougher. Um, go out, try, try again, and yeah, ask questions, ask as many questions as you can, and just never give up. As we were sharply reminded in Belgium, safety in our sport is of the utmost importance. One big part of on-track safety is practicing how to extract the driver out of the car in case of an emergency. This happens at every race event by the extrication team and each time a new driver is picked to do the test. This time around it's Marta Garcia and I've got Bjorn with me, the chief extrication officer here at Zandvoort. Can you talk to me about the procedure of getting the driver out of the car from beginning to end? We have three different types of procedures. Rapid, semi-rapid, and full. We are now doing a full. First, you have the, the headrest. The headrest has to be removed. You see the steering wheel has to be removed. Open the, the buckles huh, for the safety harness. And then we are really securing uh, the spinal in line to do not further harm. Now it's coming out with a complete seat. Go to the pack matras. You see that the whole spine is in line. Now they unclip her totally from the extreetable seat. And then we do the bridge maneuver. We step over the patient's legs, okay. over the, the, the thorax. Okay. And we do spine in line on the count of the doctor. One, two, three, up. The seat is removed now. She goes down now and she gets traction and now she gets a vacuum mattress like a cocoon and never, n nothing is moving now. What is the point of pumping up the mattress? It's not that you bring air into the mattress, but you pull it out. When you repress the air out of it, it's totally rigid. Well, that's a very impressive process. Yes. I must say I have a lot of respect for you guys because you guys are obviously the true heroes. If something goes wrong, we put our lives in your hands. So thank you very much for explaining it to me and for doing this job. Here's your track preview of the Circuit of the Americas. You know we love a challenge on off-track, and our W Series drivers love to compete. So we've decided to take this competition online, making you, the viewers, the decision maker as to who wins. So I've got Abby Eaton and Marta Garcia with me. They'll be going head to head to learn and film the Parent Trap TikTok Challenge. Are you ready? Ready. Yeah. Okay, go and find your buddies. Jessica, I need you. I need you. <laughs> so normal handshake, flat, on me. And then, is it that? Someone's going to start. Who's going to start the pile? You start you the pile? Start the pile. <laughs> Just 
gonna sit longer than 15 minutes. Drop oh. it down. Jump. Bring it to the middle. <laughs> yes, clap, One, clap, two. clap, <laughs> clap, <laughs> stop. Take them out. Like this? Yes, then you hold hands here. Yeah. Hold, hold hands, hold hands, hold hands. Yes, yes. Oh, we're getting somewhere, I'm so proud. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, and when you watch this, please, sympathy votes. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's going to... I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days, you guys can't even accomplish the simplest thing. <laughs> okay guys, I think we're at the time crunch now. We need to move, step into the studio. Now? And film it. Okay, so the drivers have finished their videos and it's now down to you to decide which is the best. Head over to the W Series TikTok channel and like only your favorite video. The video with the most likes by the green light on Saturday will be crowned the winner. Watch this space. I'm very nervous. Well, there you have it. Neria Marti absolutely smashing it there. 14 points puts her firmly in first place. What a weekend it's been in Zandvoort. The sun's been shining, the racing was fantastic, and the championship looks to be going right down to the wire. This weekend's racing will be the deciding factor for the championship title. You don't want to miss it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Victory goes to Alice Powell. She's there. Chadwick wins round two. Alice Powell wins at Silverstone. Jamie Chadwick sees the checkered flag. Alice Powell wins at Zandvoort. What a final two races of the year we have in prospect.